Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Candice and in this video, I'm going to be sharing a new designer bag video sharing whether or not I would buy or pass on the bag if given the opportunity. I've seen other influencers or YouTubers do this, so I figured I'd do my own take on it because my opinions are different as you probably could gather from my designer bag collection and everything else I wear. So let's jump right in. So I have 10 bags to share with you, all from different brands. Now, this isn't a completely conclusive of everything that's available out there. It's just the 10 that came to mind that I've seen recently that I wanted to share with you. And if you have any other recommendations for future videos like this, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to include those in future videos. So the first brand I have to share with you is this brand that's just that's killing it, okay? They're just killing it. And it's a brand I feel like is my favorite now. I can say without a doubt it's my favorite and you probably already know, Balenciaga. They have been killing it with their bags lately. <sighs> They've just been doing the damn thing, okay? Like first bag from Balenciaga, I have two to share with you. The first one is the small Lindsay handbag. I have this on my wish list, my bag wish list. I don't think I officially told y'all, but it released after I posted that video and I was like, well, damn, I should have put that on the video, but I may or may not have put it in now, I remember, but the bag comes in white. It comes in, I think some sort of croc print. It comes in this gorgeous lime green color. It comes in this gorgeous lilac color. I went and tried it in person fell in love. I'm gonna say I wouldn't get the lime one because I have a lime, well, neon green bag already. Although I have a, a like a neon lime green bag already. I know if they, they say you like a color, like people have 10 black bags, you know. I can have 10 green ones, but I think I like the lilac color too. I don't have any other bag that's lilac. It's really nice. So would I buy this Lindsay handbag? Absolutely. The price is kind of outrageous, honestly, for what it is. Cause I saw it in person. And it kind of looks a little bit, it just kind of looks like something you can find at the mall, not in a designer store, if you know what I mean. I would buy it, I really like it, but I don't think it's something that I'll prioritize, you know? So it will probably go like at the bottom of my wish list if I were to buy it. But I do think it's a great bag, it's a great shape, and it's really nice. However, Let's talk about this next one from Balenciaga. This is the Crush bag. Okay, so y'all know how much I talk about this Saleron Nikki baby that I have. How much I rave about it? Well, this bag, this Crush bag is in a similar fabric, similar material. I don't know how similar, but just looking at pictures, it looks so close, okay? Same kind of concept, carefree, easier to wear. So there are two different sizes. There's a small one for $23.50 and a medium size for $27.50. <sighs> I like both of them. I like the small one and the silver, the metallic silver. I just think that metallic silver crushed leather material is just stunning and it's perfect for that color. It just, it just shines. And I just know it's gonna look like that in person because their bags usually look very close to the pictures. Would I buy the small size? Absolutely. If I bought it, it would be in silver. That metallic silver is just divine. It's just so soft. It's so perfect for the upcoming holidays. It's just, it's just beautiful, okay? Secondly, the medium size. It's not all medium, it's kind of big. So this one is $27.50. That white, that crisp white. Oh my gosh, y'all know I don't do big bags. I don't do big bags at all. None of the bags I have are big, but this is just a rare exception. Like, I don't know what it is about this bag that's calling my name, but it's calling my name. I really like it. It also comes in black too if you don't want the white one, but I still feel like it'll be carefree even if you got the white one. I prefer the white one over the black one. And I just think that this bag, y'all know how I want it, the YSL Ikari or I Care Maxi bag at one point. I was not a fan of that high price though. It was like four grand, 4,500 I think. This is much more affordable. It still gives you the same maxi bag concept without the price tag, falling under three grand. It's gonna take everything in me not to get the silver and the white, the silver and the small and the white and the medium. So to answer your question, would I buy it or pass it? I'm gonna buy both of them probably. <laughs> Next from Dior. I have the Dior 30 Montan box bag with the handle. First and foremost, I really like this bag. Now, y'all know I did have the 30 Montan, which I recently sold. I just passed it off to the real real. I said I would never sell to them again, but the fashion file or fashion file offered me way less. So real real is gonna give me at least 70% of what they sell it. So I decided to go with that. The reason I got rid of that bag is because it's way classier than my style. I'm not a super classy person. I mean, I'm classy, but I don't dress super feminine, you know. I kind of like an edginess to my look. And that's ultimately why the bag didn't work for me, why I had so much trouble styling it. On the other hand, this one with the handle is really nice. It has more of an edgier look. 
and it just is more me honestly <laughs> but it seems to only come in this black color i haven't seen it in any other colors which is kind of disappointing however the price of this and other dior bags is outrageous I mean, $3,900 plus tax. So you're going to be in the mid 4,000s when you're done paying for this. I'm trying to see why is this expensive, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. Like it has ruthenium finished metal. Like does it have real silver on it somewhere? I don't know. The resale value, even though I don't buy my bags to resell, is horrible for Dior. The price is outrageous for this bag. So although I really like the bag, the style, the edginess of it, I would not buy this because the price is too outrageous for what it is. And it doesn't speak to me like, oh my God, you need it. Because when it does that, I can be a little more lenient on the price. But for this one, when you put me at four grand, it's gotta be really worth it. You know, even two grand nowadays, it's gotta be really worth it. So definitely would not put that on this bag. So pass. Next. This was on the runway for fall winter 2022. It's from Hermes. Hermes and it's the Kelly. I'm gonna kill this. Kelly and Dis Dis Disordre. Oh my gosh, Disordre. I know y'all Hermes people better come for me. You know what it is, it's on the screen. You know what I'm talking about. Essentially, it's kind of like their Kelly. Their signature Kelly design that y'all seen everywhere. It has more of an edginess to it. It has that asymmetrical pocket at the front. I've kind of turned away from the Kelly because I feel like, again, it's more of that classier, dressier look, which most of the time I don't go for. This bag does have an edginess to it, but it's a bag that I really don't have to have and I don't like the Kelly that much anymore. So I don't see a need to want the same bag with a different type of vibe. If you are an avid Hermes collector, oh my God, I need to wash my hair. Disgusting. Really, man? I try to go longer so my hair color lasts longer, but it's, it's not working out now. I need to wash. Anyway, <laughs> if you're an avid MS collector, this might be a perfect bag for you. If you like the Kelly and you want more of a like a, a dress down type of look, this might be for you. However, it is not for me. So therefore I will pass. Next, the Chanel 22. All right, so I'm gonna try not to holler and scream in this video, but Jernica Masia. I actually think, was she the one who inspired me to do this video? Somebody. Her and a few other YouTubers. I saw her talk about the Chanel 22 bag. If you know me, you already know I don't like this bag. When she said this bag reminded her of a bag that you get gift with purchase, like gift with purchase of a perfume, beauty products. That's exactly what it looks like. I don't see what people find so amazing about this bag. I mean, yes, if you're a Chanel collector, but even if you're a Chanel collector, like what is so special about this? And then people have been complaining about the quality issues. I mean, then the price is $7,100 for what? The, have they started by putting 14 karat gold hardware on their bags? Like, I just don't understand what's so special about it. Like there's so many other different options. If you're looking for a maxi bag, like the Saint Laurent Ikari, I would pay $4,500 for that before I get this. The newly Balenciaga Crush bag, you know? When I buy this, hell no, if you hadn't already figured that out. Okay, so the next bag I have is from Gucci. And this is the Atosh, Atosh bag. I'm glad we're switching gears here. I'm very picky when it comes to hobo style bags. It has to have a certain look. This bag is so sexy. I really like it. It's beautiful. It's a great price point, $26.90. Yes, it's expensive, but for certain brands, you, you have to expect to pay certain prices. But it has the Gucci Gigi print and it has, you know, the signature stripe. I don't know exactly what you call it for the don't come for me for the shoulder strap. No matter how you wear this bag, I think it looks adorable. Now it does look kind of small. I don't know exactly what would fit in it. It's really nice though. Like it's like, it's very nice. I really like how it looks. I love the hardware color choice they chose for this silver. Perfect choice for this. Oh, I love it. Would I buy it or pass? I would definitely buy it. Although I don't think I will because there are just other things that are more important on my wish list. But this is a nice bag from Gucci. I haven't really seen any bags, honestly, from Gucci that I've liked recently, but this is the first. Next I have from Bottega Veneta is the Chain Mini Jody. So y'all know I like the Mini Jody now, okay? I actually just ordered one. So look forward to that unboxing coming soon. I finally picked the color, but they have now the one with the chain. The regular Mini Jody is 2,500. This one is 2,900. So the one without the chain is 2,500. And now they have two colors available from what I can see, possibly others that have the chain on there. Is this, this is going to determine how I feel. Here are my thoughts on the chain. I really like the chain, but for $400 additional, 
I think you can kind of buy your own chain and put on here that looks like this because it's not like the chain really serves any purpose as far or um, aside from aesthetics from what I can see because it's not a shoulder strap I don't think it's long enough for that if it was long enough for that I might change my opinion but because you're paying $300 for aesthetics or $400 additional for aesthetics plus tax I would pass on this and I'll buy another chain and put on here and pretend like is how it came. There are plenty of sites that have quality chains for bags. I'm not promoting fakes or anything like that, but there are, are specific accessory sites, kind of like buying a bag insert. You know, you can buy straps too. And I just think you can put one of those on there and save some money. But this comes in black and the porous color is the light nude color. And the light the nude color is beautiful. That's the color I would go with if I were to get it. But because of that chain, marking up the price compared to the original, pass. Okay, next one I have if is from Saint Laurent. We have three more. So with this one, I have the Jamie Medium Chain Bag. So basically this bag pays ode to Yves Saint Laurent. And basically 10 years ago, the creative director decided to drop the Eves from Saint Laurent, which is how they became just Saint Laurent as we know it today. So with that, there is Yves Saint Laurent printed on the bag as well as the YSL logo. Y'all know I love color. Y'all know I love color. So you should not be surprised at how I feel about this bag. I think it's a cute tribute. It's a great price point too, in line with the other pricing from the brand. And I like the color. I feel like the multicolor stands out against that blanc or white color. And it also has the very popular puffer material on the bag that's quilted. Gold hardware, white leather strap. Is this a buy or pass? It's a buy for me. I really like it. I like tributes like this and I like limited edition pieces like this. So this is a bag that people are probably gonna be going crazy over later on, in my opinion, you know, to get their hands on just like the Louis Vuitton multicolor collection. Mmm, the Gucci, the Gucci multicolor collection. Nobody went, really went crazy over it. It sold out, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a tribute bag. It's still in stock right now, so I might be totally off with that. But years down the line, people are gonna be like, what bag is that? That's really nice. I want one. And they're not gonna be able to get it unless they pay astronomical prices for it, in my opinion. <laughs> so next we have a bag from Louis Vuitton. This is the Maxi Multi. Maxi multi pochette accessoire. If it looks like I'm playing on my phone, I'm really not. I'm just scrolling through pictures that I've taken. So, you know, they have the multi pochette accessoire where the pieces come apart off the bag. This is where I'm kind of confused because they named the bag the exact same thing except they put Maxi in front of it. It's not really Maxi, you know? It's not bigger than that bag. So, I don't understand why they came with Maxi. And then multi pochette, it has multiple compartments, but those pieces don't come apart. It's one bag, two different colors, beige, clear, and then fuchsia. I think it's kind of boring, honestly. And I'm kind of over monogram print, to be honest with you. I don't think I would ever buy any more Louboutin monogram pieces. I'm satisfied with the ones I have. And just because you change the color of the monogram, it doesn't make me any more interested. So I would pass on this one for the price. The price isn't horrible, it's 23.50. I mean, you're gonna pay that much for Louis Vuitton smaller bags anyway. It does have a shoulder strap, there's no crossbody, or that does come with a longer crossbody strap, so it's just not my style. It's kind of boring, to be honest with you. It's the best word I can come up with for it. Last, I have a bag from Celine. It's their Botch Triumph. Now, I'm not 100% positive if it's brand new, but it's new on the site. I haven't seen it before, but that doesn't mean it's a brand new bag, but I still wanna give my opinions on it regardless. So they have this Botch Triumph bag. It comes in Triumph canvas and calfskin, and it also comes in natural calfskin. So the Triumph canvas is $29.50. If you want the full on natural calfskin, it's $3,400. Okay, so with this bag, honestly, I'm not really a fan of the Triumph canvas at all. And that might be partly due to the fact that I don't really, I like Celine bags that don't have the monogram all over it or the Triumph canvas. I don't like those. I prefer the full on leather, like my Nano belt bag. I can't think of the names or anything. And also my mini Cabas that has camouflage. It doesn't have any type of Triumph canvas on it. So I don't really like that. So that aside, it also comes in this box of leather, as you see. I'm not really a fan of the shape of the bag either. And I'm also not that huge of a Celine fan. I like certain bags from them, like the Nano belt bag. The mini Cabas is cute that I have. Also, the Nano luggage bag is very cute. I'm not really feeling this new style. I know I told you I love structured bags, but I feel like this is too structured for me. It looks like a mini briefcase. It's cute on the right person. I just don't think it's for me. And for that reason, I would say pass on this one, but I wouldn't sleep on Celine because 
they're kind of underrated they were popular back in the day but they're kind of underrated now the quality is outstanding i love my nano belt bag and it's still a great price point their price increases aren't outrageous so if you think this bag is your style take a look at the other bags too you might find some other ones that you like you might discover a new brand that you like that you didn't know that you did so that's my list of bags that i would buy or pass for the most part it was kind of half and half i think for the buy and pass i was serious about the balenciaga crush bag by the way very serious i want the white one i think it's on pre-order now so i might have to do that because it would be perfect too to double as like a baby bag and just to throw my things in with it I'm like you know like a cute baby bag or just a me bag i don't know <laughs> how would i even look with a bag that big i don't even know i used to wear big bags years ago but i had long stopped doing that so We'll see, I still want it. Let me know what y'all think about my list, my opinions. And as I mentioned, if you have any other bags that I should do like a little rating on, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do those in a future video. Leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon, thanks for watching.